Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and this video is about a module called Dynamic Forms. This is, this is a module that is very near and dear to me because I have been using this module for about three to four years and I have seen it growing and, and getting richer and richer in terms of functionalities. So it's not so much a, a, a module review because I already know how this module works. It's more about showing you how the what this module can do, and uh, and again give give an overview of of its features. I sent a message to Data Springs, which is the the vendor of this module, and Candice Santos. Uh, she sent me the latest version of Dynamic Forms, so I could install and review that. Thank you very much, Candice. Here's the Dynamic Forms uh, page on is no covered. So I'm going to go to my dev site to create a contact us page by using dynamic forms because again as the name says it, it's a module that will allow you to build all kinds of different forms that you may want to do so let's let's try to create a contact us form and this contact us will have some basic questions uh, we also try to to create a conditional question it uh, and by conditional question means that it's a question that is based that will be asked or not based on previous answers and at the end of the form when the person clicks submit I want also to set up an email notification to be sent to the person who fill, who fill out the form and to the admin of the site as well on top of that we're gonna also set up a thank you page so let's go through it uh, most likely this video will have uh, two or three parts I think but uh, let's get started now let's log into the dev site and I'm gonna install the module that I have already downloaded. So let's just go to host module definitions. Let's install the module for the first time. Install module. Browse to the file. Here is the installation. One thing that I do miss, and again I may have not seen that I don't know for one reason or another, but I have not seen a, a documentation manual for the module. But let's get back to our installation. So Module selected, let's click next, next again, and next again, accept license, okay, so no errors, just having a look to see if there's anything there, no errors at all, let's click return, okay, so now let's create our contact us page, let's just click on a new page, let's just make it public, and click update, and let's select the dynamic forms, okay, right here. Let's put it in the content pane and let's call it contact as, as the title of the module, the container. So now as I was saying, this is a, a very good module. Uh, one, of the, one of the first things that it will ask you is if you want to go through a, through a, a question wizard. Because I'm pretty sure that by this time, uh, Data Springs, they already know that there are a couple of questions that are pretty much standard to majority of forms that we need to create so they have created a, a a wizard that you can set up a couple of different fields uh that are already pre-configured with names and sizes so let's let's run the question wizard as they present that to us oh i just saw something interesting here it's a uh, let me forms user guide let's have a look there oh you see now I just have to bite my tongue <laughs> because I have never paid attention to to this particular document here. So, getting my word back there, there is a quite a, a big documentation uh, manual here. When I went through the first installation or the fir the first setup, there is a review that informs user guide. So yes, there is a user form a, uh, user guide. So again, I'm I'm even more fan of, of them right now. So again, just taking my, my word back, there is a good menu here and I can see that it's quite it's quite dense, 181 pages. So I would say that you can pretty much, you will have pretty much uh, every feature covered here in this document. Great, great stuff. So let's go back to where we were. Let's go to the question wizard. I guess as I'm, as I'm telling you, I always said uh, there's no script in here. So I go with the flow. And I do the best I can to make sure that we get to the end. Anyway, 
question wizard okay there's an, a standard wizard advanced wizard let's stick with the standard one now what i want to do is i want to create a contact as form so i want to have the first name the last name uh, email address should be here as well and i will just ask for a summary field that i will rename the summary field i will rename that eventually to to the question that uh, the person has uh, to send us via the contact us. So I will rename that, but I'll, I'll keep a summary field checked. This is most likely a multi-line text box. Now let's just, let's keep all those, the, all the, just those four uh, questions in, in our form. And let's run the wizard. Okay, so uh, the wizard is done. And here we can see the, the fields that we have selected during the wizard now uh, we can we can do some adjustments to those fields for instance i don't want a summary field to be called summary field i want this to be uh, a question field the question that the person will submit in the contact us form so i can just go straight to the field by clicking in this edit icon so i come straight to that summary field which now i'm going to call it a uh, question and the short name I'm gonna call it question as well and please enter a brief question as the help text sort order is the order that this field will appear in the form you, you can play around with those numbers by checking what other numbers are uh, selected for the other fields so you can you can reorder them in the form according to your wishes now let's just reduce a little bit the the height of this text box I think it's too too long and let's also under question look and feel again as you can see lots of options let's make it let's make this field width a little bit bigger and let's click on update field and exit so the chains are done label has changed to question the field has uh, become shorter and uh, and a bit longer from a width perspective. Now here's what I want to do. I want to make first name, last name, email address, all mandatory fields. What I have to do, I can go and click first name to add the first name, scroll down and go to question validation. Yes. So uh, again, uh, all those, all these options, everything here, from question type to advanced fields option, question look and feel, question header and footer, question validation, everything here relates to the dynamic question that is selected here in this drop down. In our case, first name. So let's go to question validation, check required field, and required field text. I will just say, please enter the first name. This will uh, show up in case someone forgets to enter their first name. So it will show as a, as a validation text in case they have not filled that out. Now for more complex fields uh, that require a more complex validation, you, you can also use regular expression uh, to, to validate the field. For instance, you can do that with, with uh, dates. Maybe they already do some validation on that one, but with dates, uh, any kind of field that requires a special validation, you can use regular expressions as well. You should also fill out the required field error, which usually is marked by a uh, asterisk. So that's pretty much it. So that's that's how we, we set up a required field. So let's just click update field. This is the end of the first part of the video about the dynamic forms module from DataSprings. There are two more parts to this video.